Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at thehiphopnews.com. No wait, let's go. What's good, y'all? It's your man Sam Ant here at Viral Hip Hop News. Go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that notification bell. And if you're not subscribed to Viral Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. And let's get to work. All right, so it's been about a week now, a little under a week since we were shocked. I know I was personally shocked to find out that rap icon and a friend of the show, Coolio, had unfortunately passed away at the age of 59, I believe. I think he was 59 when he passed away. We had a very good discussion with Coolio a couple months ago. Had no idea that would be the final time we spoke to him because we were talking and in, in, in talks and scheduling some more interviews and some more sessions with Coolio. We had to cut this interview short because, like I said, he was about to head out on tour. He was a very busy dude, but he did leave us some time and we appreciate it. The final message he left us with before he got up out of here was very powerful. I was sitting back listening to his interview, the last interview, kind of just reminiscing. And I stumbled across that message and I was like, you know what, I'm going to share this with the people. So I'm going to share the final message given to us from Coolio. Like, comment, and share what you're going to hear, man. I definitely think that a lot of you will appreciate what you're going to hear from him. And yes, condolences once again to his family. Rest in peace, Coolio. May you rest in peace and may your memory be remembered in a positive way and in a lasting way, giving that impression that you left on hip-hop, man. Rest in peace to the good brother Coolio. And without further ado, let's see what he had to say. He did the hard research and he and he had we can prove now that we were here when the Europeans came here. We were here. We are not from Africa. We are right here from North America, which was originally called Turtle Island. Mm. We are the we are the original indigenous people of North America and South America. We was already here. This motherfucker was fully populated, bro, when the Europeans came here. We was here, bro. We was here. The black Vikings, goddammit. <laughs> Whatever. But we 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 are the we are the original we are the Native Americans. The motherfuckers with the big noses and the long straight hair are not Native Americans. We are the Native Americans. And you know, if you okay, so Look at it like this. Mm -hmm. So we all grew up thinking we was descended of slaves, right? Mm -hmm. Now that gave that gives you a certain mindset, right? But what right. we really are, what we really are, are prisoners of we are descendants of prisoners of war. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, if if you at war with somebody and they enslave you, you're not a slave, you're a prisoner of war. Mm -hmm. So now, if you're a prisoner of war, I think that gives you a different mindset. You, you, it make you more inclined to fight. It make you more inclined to, to stand up versus having the, having the slave mentality. Mm. And I, I think that that's, that's really important for these young kids to know. They need to know where they truly come from, brother. Um, one of the first, one, he, this is something else he found, he, he found out that, that I did. Um, one of the one of the easiest ways to trace your head, trace where you came from, is through the census. The census started in 1790. Got that billion, huh? Oh, yeah, I did. So 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 far, so far I've been able to trace my family back six six grandfathers on both sides. Mm. So on my mother's side, my family is Chata, Chata which is Chat is Chata, but People pronounce it Choctaw, Indian. And on my father's side, it's a, we're, uh, we originated in, in Apache territory. But the, I have to, the, now, do you know what it says on my birth certificate, brother? What's that? It says Negro. On well, your birth certificate? On my birth certificate. For hey. Do you know what Negro means? Black. No. Oh. The original meaning of Negro is black object mm. which which means i'm not really people but property mm. a black that the, the meaning of my race what it says on my birth certificate negro that shit means black object mm. 
I'm that shit is coming off my motherfucking birth certificate before I die, bro. Before I die, my birth certificate is gonna is gonna say what I truly am. And I am indigenous. Mm. And with that being said, brother, I gotta go catch this flight. I you know, I love I love speaking to y'all because y'all, I think y'all, y'all are important, bro. Y'all are important to our people. Let me tell y'all something. Step your I, I want y'all, I want y'all to I want y'all to do this. Step your game up, my brothers. It's time for y'all to start. Y'all, y'all talk about it. Y'all talk about a lot of good shit, but y'all also talk about a lot of bullshit. Fuck the bullshit, bro. Start talking about real shit again. Now, just, you're gonna put now I, now you gotta be willing to put your life on the line to do it. Right. Because if you talk about the wrong shit, these motherfuckers will come after you. Mm -hmm. But we got somebody got the fucking step up, bro. And so y'all, y'all, y'all got a platform. Y'all got millions of people that listen to y'all, man. Y'all gotta start talking to these young brothers and teach them something, bro. I mean, you still can talk about the bullshit because people want to hear that too. Mm -hmm. But you know, let's 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 go a little bit further, man. Let's go a little bit further. Let's let's tell let's 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 teach our people something, man. For sure. We got we got we gotta do it. We out of time now, bro. Where it's it's every man. We need every man. For sure. For I, sure I say that shit around. I say, uh, damn, what I say? I say I don't need my, I don't need my. I don't need my niggas, not some of my niggas or half of my niggas, but all of my niggas too. So I don't, we don't need some of our niggas or half of our niggas. We need all our niggas. It's every motherfucking, every man on deck right now. Every man on deck, bro. And if we all, if we all stand up and, and get on, get behind ourselves, mm -hmm. then we, they, they can't kill us all. Mm. Facts, facts. Indeed. So it's it's time it's time for us to step up, bro. We have to, or are we are we doomed. Yes, sir. We know that, OG. We heard you. Appreciate you, OG. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all yeah. too, man. I love y'all, man. Keep doing what y'all doing, and, and let's let's take it a little further, man. Any, any motherfucking time y'all want to talk to me, I'm here. Let's get it. Indeed. Right. Peace, 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 man. Do your Safe thing. Travel, man. Safe travel. Safe travel. Indeed. Peace. Yes, sir. All right.